Hello and welcome to Whimsy Creek Art. All right, today's video is kind of a review video. It is a, a review of these Artist Loft reversible liquid art panels. So I have a 12 by 12 inch one, and they say these are ideal for pouring paint or resin work. And so these are kind of a hard surface. It's some sort of, it looks like an MDF maybe that's got some sort of coating on it or something but what I have today is I have some satin enamels and that is mixed one part satin enamel with three parts Floetrol and then I have a variety of blues and those are also mixed one part paint to three parts Floetrol and those are just regular uh, acrylic paints the white is the only one that is a satin enamel and so we're going to do kind of like a cloud pour and this is actually going to be a background for um, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of brushwork on top of that so I'll show that in a later video but this is just the background and so we're just getting a bunch layered in the cup so this is a 12 by 12 inch and so I'm getting about oh six seven uh, ounces of paint here and I'm just layering the white satin enamels with the variety of blues. And so I'm just gonna do kind of a straight pour. Why, why not go ahead and give you a different angle here? Let's go ahead and a better angle. And so you can see that a little bit better. So there really isn't a huge difference between a ring pour or a straight pour. I do this uh, straight pour the majority of this, but then I do just kind of start uh, going in rings kind of there for a moment. And then I, so I kind of go back and forth between a uh, ring pour and a straight pour. But um, the darkest blue does have silicone and it only has two drops of treadmill oil but that's the only color that has silicone because I wanted a little bit of cell action, but not too much cell action. We kind of get that cloudy effect as well using the satin enamels. So, all right, just gonna go ahead and finish off that center. Then I am gonna go ahead and tilt it back and forth. And we want to be very careful and tilt this real slowly because we don't want it to run up on those edges too much because this kind of has its own kind of built-in frame and so you just want to get it right up to the corners but you don't want it to run up on the edges too much and I haven't decided if I will paint this uh, frame kind of this has on it, if I'll paint it or if maybe I will stain it or I might just leave it and uh, seal it with some uh, poly acrylic. I'm not sure exactly yet. And we'll see with the final project what, what will look best for the frame. So all right, I'm just gently going around tilting it to each of the corners just real gently because you don't want to get it up on the edges too uh, much. So all right, please let me know if you have any questions and have you used one of these? I got this at Michael's. This is the reversible liquid art panels. And so it is reversible. I'm not sure if I'll do anything with the back. I probably won't do anything with the back, but I guess you do have the option of doing something with the back on these. So um, please let me know, have you used these? How did they work for you? Um, this pour has dried and so um, it dried beautifully. It did kind of evolve as it dried and a few more cells popped up, but not too many. So it has a nice kind of underwater look to it. So this will be a background. And so I will share uh, eventually what I do with it to put a little bit of uh, scenery on it, I guess we'll say. So, all right, thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you have any questions.